Objectives. You know, it's always interesting when you have a like a current affairs kind of presentation because it's fresh in everyone's mind and everyone's been living. If you've been watching the news at all, you've been living the situation and what's been going on in Ferguson. And the number of objectives that Byron had was things like how effective was the speech organization and the use of logic and facts. Uh, I won't bore you with the whole list of objectives, but what really stuck out to me was Byron tried to keep his emotions out of this. Because right? cases like this are always tried in the court of opinion based on very little evidence. In fact, it's just everyone's using their emotions to drive their opinions. And I think that's what leads to the kinds of things that we've been seeing and witnessing around the country, not just in, in Ferguson and the reactions that people have been exhibiting. So Byron's objective to try to encourage people to change their own opinions, I think is a very challenging task. Because people are grounded and rooted in their own opinions, and it's really very difficult to try to twist them and turn them around. But I thought Byron did a, a tremendous job because, you know, when he started off, you know, it's a nation of conflict and bringing in the history of this nation, and, but what really impressed me was that <coughs> he stuck to the facts as they were presented. And he tried to keep personal opinion and personal and emotions out of it. Which, again, is, you know, I don't, I'm not sure I could do that. I mean, you know, I, I get, believe it or not, I get emotional sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really difficult for me to keep those emotions out. When I'm, when I'm passionate about something, invariably your emotions come out. And I thought Byron did a <clears throat> tremendous job trying to keep those to a minimum to present facts, to present the story, to try to get everyone in the audience to think, oh, you know what, I didn't think about it that way. And when it came to answering the questions, I thought he did a, a tremendous job there too. And even being honest, when, uh, when there was a question that he didn't know the answer to, last thing you want to do is try to make something up and then sound like a fool especially when you've been trying to stick to the facts. So overall, you know, it was a very difficult speech, but I think uh, Byron did a tremendous job <coughs> in the way he handled it and the way that he interacted with the audience.